Welcome to First Garden, New Gardener. I'm Joy Baird. You may be starting your first garden or maybe your second, and you're thinking about going to raised beds. For many years, we did not do raised beds. We simply grew in the ground that we had. We had three foot wide to four foot wide beds with one to two foot walk paths between them to designate in ground separation from bed to bed. This became a very tedious and uh, disappointing method in which we were practicing as we put in a lot of effort for very little return and we fought the weeds incredibly hard. So last year we invested and built raised beds. We built three four by 12 raised beds, two foot, uh, two with two uh, by 10 walls on them, and then two beds, four foot by 16 foot, again with the same lumber, two by 10s. To minimize the amount of weeds in which we were working with, increase the fertility of the soil that we, because we are bringing it in, and we've seen a tremendous increase of the production of the vegetables in which we were growing. So we extended this year and invested in three more raised beds. Again, this may not be a fit for everybody. However, it is an investment. Several hundred dollars is typically what the investment is. However, it will pay you back dividends year after year for the produce and the minimum amount of effort and work that has to go in. We've installed a drip irrigation in our raised bed on a timer, which also increases the uh, productivity of the produce in which we're growing. So if you're thinking about raised beds, you can simply do a, a raised bed of four by four, which is 16 square feet, and maintain that or have several of those throughout your garden. It will be well worth it. And if you want to do the transition as we did last year, half in raised beds, half in the ground, that works also. But we went to the raised beds. We're very pleased with that. It was an investment again, but it is paying us back with the ease and effort of gardening, which should be fun, but also productive if you're going to that effort. And uh, it's really in, made our work in the garden more enjoyable. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.